Last week I had the opportunity to attend another press preview at Crystal Bridges. I really sat with this one over the weekend because I haven't been sure how to translate it into a YouTube video. Obviously, I would encourage you if you live in or anywhere near Northwest Arkansas to check this out for yourself. It has free admission. It's open till April the 24th, so you really have no excuse. You've got some time. It doesn't cost anything. You can come when the weather's a little bit nicer. You can go while the weather is terrible. <laughs> um, but for the rest of you who can't really experience it for yourself, I also wanted to be able to communicate some of the messages and what the experience was like for me. So this was a collaboration between a photographer, Richard Mizrach, and a sound artist, Guillermo Galindo. And they were both working separately on kind of the same theme, making art around the Mexican-American border, and then they met and they teamed up to make this exhibit. This was actually scheduled years ago. <laughs> it isn't some topical thing that came up because of the election, because of things that have been in the news. Like this is art that they have been making and art that Crystal Bridge, Bridges had scheduled to come here a long time ago. Um, what Guillermo does is he takes found objects from the border, uh, like here you can see there's a broken wheel, and he makes uh, music with them. He puts them together in a way that he makes noises and records them. You can see here are some headphones, so you can put them on. You can play a video to see the instrument being played and then hear what kind of noises it makes. So on their own, they look like really visually interesting sculptures and you can explore them in that way but they're also actually musical instruments and so in this room there's the headphones where you can hear them but then in another part of the exhibit he has put together a four hour composition so it's different every time you go in the room it's different depending on what areas of the room that you stand in if you go and see this on different days you'll probably hear different parts of the composition and um, that's in a different area than right here, just so you can experience the instruments in different ways. And then uh, the man talking right here is the photographer, Richard. He likes to work in really large format pieces that make you feel like you're there. He also doesn't really put figures in his work. It's not really about an individual's experience. This is the story more of the place than the people. Obviously you can see the people's interaction with this space. You can see uh, there was a barrel of water. Uh, there's a humanitarian effort. There's areas where people uh, die of thirst and so they like to leave uh, barrels with gallons of water in them but they put that really big flag. And so Richard will photograph something like that and then Guillermo will take the barrel itself and make art out of it. Um, there is a fountain, I don't think I was able to video that, but he's made a fountain out of that as well as a sculpture. He also documents his compositions visually, uh, not as a traditional musician would. Um, I think he called it a graphic composition. Um, so these flags are actually compositions of his. Then he has uh, just depicted it in different ways, uh, the rhythm and the sounds of his composition. And then these photos are of the tires that they drag across the ground so that just to cover the footsteps. And the Border Patrol actually does that. And then um, Guillermo saw this photo with a uh, the marks where the tires had been dragged along the sand and uh, to him it looked like bars of music and so it just started to feed into each other the inspiration from the photography and the inspiration from the objects came to all together to make this music and so I don't really have any footage of the music I wish you could hear it I don't know if there's clips on Crystal Bridges website I'll put a link to that below, but I'm not really sure. Um, then in this area, there are, this is the part where you can really hear the composition. There's photos of objects that were found. A lot of these objects you'll recognize were made into instruments that you may have seen elsewhere. Uh, Guillermo said he started with small pieces like these and then got bigger and bigger until 
uh, you may remember the really big one at the beginning of the video. Um, that's actually a piece of the wall itself <laughs> that he had Richard bring home. And so sometimes Richard would be out taking the photography and he would find an object. And so there was this dialogue back and forth um, about the story. Right here, I want to interrupt myself. Um, the guidebook has some really great questions. And one of them is, if you had to leave your home and take a backpack, only a backpack full of stuff, what would you put in it? I'm going to leave us with that. I would love to hear what you would put in your pack backpack down in the comments below. And I would definitely encourage you to see this exhibit. So this is a traveling exhibit. It may come to where you are. Um, so keep your eyes out for that. But if you live in Northwest Arkansas, I really hope that you can experience it for yourself. And if not, I hope you were able to take something away from this little peek, uh, peek into the exhibit through YouTube. Um, so yeah, let me know what you'd put in your backpack down below and I'll see you next time.